James Mathers at NAB 2017 for the Digital Cinema Society and New Bay Media. I'm here with my friend Dato Weigart. He's the founder. He's the Dato of Dato Light. Can you tell us about some of your new products, Dato? For different target groups, for the biggest studios, we have lights that multi-LED big panel lights that most probably are the highest power to light efficiency on the planet right now. Uh, six meter distance, what, 20 feet? Uh, 720 lux, what, 65 foot candle or something like that, uh, using only two and 225 watt. Very gentle light, and for that we have a huge soft box uh, that makes it even gentler. And to accompany that, we have lights that excel in extreme light output, focusing range, even light distribution, uh, a 300 watt focusing light that can go from 65 degree angle to four degree angle uh, and has tremendous performance. And all of our focusing lights can take all our optical accessories, like a wide angle non-spherical attachment goes 90 degree, like a parallel beam light, and also the projector, the imaging that allows all kinds of background games and high precision lighting. Um, then for the smaller studios, we've got a new version of our Feloni lights that has three times the light output over the previous lights the bicolor light, powerful enough to use as a fill light against the full sunlight. Indoors, as a naked light, it's too much. Therefore, we equip it with different sizes of soft boxes, small one for mobile, big one for uh, studio use, and that can be augmented with all of our focusing LED lights. Um, for the mobile drama we have a light that we call DLED 10 that's new it's also extreme high output it doesn't do what some people seem to think is of utmost importance the multi colors the color games we try and stay away from those because I'm afraid that you may be sacrificing skin tone uh, values I'm trying to get as close to clean skin tones as possible. That's our aim, not the show lights. We have also the, the smallest, lightest kits for the small team, from very robust uh, cases with handles and wheels to what I call the ladies' handbag, uh, that's small enough with four lights um, to go inside the aircraft cabin for if you don't want to wait for your baggage to arrive to run quickly including lighting stands and all the accessories and also one thing that we excel in is the optics and that allows us to project background illusions uh, the creation of space and distance uh, to help create with cameras that have a small sensor and a short focal length the feel the sensation of space and guiding the interest of the viewer more to the object rather than to be distracted by too many other things though so then another approach that is relatively new is reflected light it's not a new idea everybody has done that um, in the we call it light stream so light stream drama is the parallel to Christian Berger's Cine Reflect lighting system uh, that has been used on many full-size feature films exclusively, no other kind of lighting. And it's an interesting concept since it frees the set of all kinds of lighting paraphernalia, stands, fixtures, flags, everything. Um, and theoretically it can be done with one huge parallel beam light parallel beam lights like mole beam so on have existed forever ours is more homogeneous and therefore tuned to this one 
purpose where we then redirect the light with hard reflectors, mirrors, and then go to four different degrees of tuned reflection to reflect, re-reflect, reflect again, so that from one light you can do a three-point lighting and light the background at the same time. And that has been augmented by what we call the parallel beam attachments, which have been computed to work with our focusing lights. And that was a surprise. Um, we've always excelled in focus range. So some of our lights can go to a four degree beam, far reach, high efficiency. Now you stick the parallel beam attachment on it and you have again four degree. So what's the benefit? Yeah, the beam goes a little cleaner and you have double the light. How can that be? You can't find more light. No, but we're losing less light. When you go to the spot position of a light, you lose a hell of a lot. Like a typical studio Fresnel and spot is 6% efficiency. Our system was 18. Now with the new optics, we can double that. And with some of the smaller LED lights, we go even three times as high. And the reflected light seems to be perceived as much gentler than any multi-LED panel light can be. Uh, and the modification that you can reach of spreading the light just a little bit or a little bit more or sometimes using two reflectors in the same direction. One to light the whole wall and a harder one to pick out a detail on the same wall. And it all comes from same direction, same direction of shadows and so on. So that's new for us uh, and this seems to find a lot of interest and we have requests for several other TV studios to look at the system. And then we adopted the system for the big one-man team yeah, by something that we call EFLECT. So for the one-man team, he can use all the small lights, uh, use a gooseneck arm and put the reflector like this on it. Uh, it can be colored and or silver and you can bend it in all kinds of shapes and create little sunspots on the back wall um, and then we can add filters uh, that look totally stupid yeah you, and you say what is this gonna do ever they have filters that look like this and when you put them on the light and you focus the light or you put the parallel beam adapter on it it's a completely new world and it's something that you have to play with to feel out the immense variations of creativity. So they're hard reflectors, multi-mirror reflectors. This one here, where you can do all kinds of games. Uh, again, the stupid filters. And combine all this with the regular equipment that you would have along anyhow. Um, so that's a new toy. Um, and it works very well with our lights and the big focus range. And the parallel beam adapters add another dimension to it. Uh, so, And I noticed uh, with the parallel beam reflections that you're not such a slave to the inverse square law. Actors can walk towards the unit and it doesn't, uh, they don't get as hot as you would normally expect. When you take a, a parallel beam adapter or a parallel beam light and you redirect the light with a hard reflector then you're creating a virtual light source that's very far away and that allows the talent to move without being subject to a lot of change of intensity um, so you cheat the square law uh, and when you then go to the softer reflectors you're coming closer to the reflector being the light source. Uh, the, the ultimate would be the, the styrofoam that is the light source and then the square law is only dependent on the size of it and the distance to the object. Yeah, like the sun, 130 million kilometers in diameter, makes a hard shadow because it's pretty far away. Uh, so the soft lights, large surface, light emitting surfaces or light reflecting surfaces will also be subject to the square law 
if the distance to the object is four to five times the diameter of the surface. Um, things that we have all been feeling, but we didn't know about it, so we're exploring the physics and photometrics of all this a little deeper. Uh, and we have already 170 tutorial videos. Some of those hit on these subjects and many more we still have to shoot because the more we do, the more we discover what hasn't been done to explain our colleagues the benefits in different practices. Um, a lot of the time, you just go ahead and if it looks good, you push the button. Well, thanks for explaining it and thanks for making such great lights. Thank you.